people have once again reached out to our I team for the second time this year about what appears to be a Medicare fraud. Yeah, they're concerned their personal information has been stolen and used to bill Medicare for things that they never needed or received. I team reporter Andy Mahalchik is working the story and here's what he found. Something had to be hacked or something from Medicare in order for them to be submitting under all our names that are getting these notices a second time. Linda Joseph from Wilkesbury says she couldn't believe she received a Medicare billing summary that shows a New York-based company billed Medicare to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars using her name and personal information for services and products that she never used or needed. We first met Linda in February when the same company used the same tactics using her name. My concern is not only the fact that nothing's been done to investigate this company and stop this, but the other question is how do they have our Medicare information, our numbers, to be able to submit these claims? I'm going to call the New York based company about these uh, bills, the Medicare billing, and see what you have to say. The number you dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. Medicare officials told the I-team back in February and again today that they cannot comment on ongoing investigations, but are taking steps to intercept these alleged fraud schemes. Congressman Matt Cartwright tells this reporter his office is working with federal officials on this alleged fraud. There is an active investigation underway at HHS OIG, that's Health and Human Services, and Inspector General has taken immediate action to reduce improper payments and ensure that taxpayer dollars are directed towards the care of senior citizens. This means even though a claim may publicly show up as paid, the money has not necessarily been released. Now the I-Team is still working the story more in the days ahead. Reporting for the I-Team in Wilkes-Barre, Luzerne County, Andy Mahalchik, 2822 News. And we have information uh, from Medicare officials on what you should do if you suspect Medicare fraud and some steps that you can take to reduce the chances of being a target of fraud on our website, pahomepage.com.